In this lecture, I'm going to go over how to merge an entire folder of files into a single table using Power Query. So to get started, I am going to come over to Data, Get Data, From File, and over here you'll notice an option called From Folder. So I'm going to select this option here, and it asks me to browse to a path. Now I've set up a folder on my desktop called Files to Merge. So here we go here. That's my folder. I'm going to click OK. And you'll notice here that I have seven files from uh, basically a list of employees from 2011 to 2017. Now, you, this screen will look familiar if you used Power Query before. But we have a couple of uh, different options here now. So normally, you would only have the Load button, right? And we also have a Combine. So we've got Combine, Combine, Edit, Combine, and Load. Now, the difference between these are, is if I just click load, so let me do that first. What you get is you get a list of the files. So it hasn't done any merging yet, but if you wanted a list of all your files, that's a nice and easy way that you can do that. So let me do this again. Let me go back to data, get data. And let's see if we can actually merge these. So I'm going to go through this first step again. Folder, browse, my files to merge folder, click OK. OK, and this time I'm going to click uh, Combine and Edit. Now, there's a few things I wanted to point out about this when, uh, when you go to do this. So what this has done is it's taking a sample of our first file uh, to use as a template for importing all of the files. So here I've got an example of the first file. You can see that I have all these different columns which end at a column called headcount. Now, to make things a little bit more interesting, the last file here, the employees 2017 file, has one additional column. So that column is basically an extra column called higher date. So this, uh, this one file has this one additional column uh, that none of the other files do. So we want to see how Power Query actually deals with this. So let's go back to this first file here. We don't have the higher date column. I'm going to click OK. And let's load this to a new sheet. OK, fantastic. So this is just loaded and merged all of our data. You can see the name of the file here at, at, as the first column, which is a, uh, a nice little feature. If I go to the bottom of the sheet, you can see that we have uh, around 118,000 records all merged together. You can also see that over here on the query. Uh, let's let me go back up to the top. And now let's see what is it done with this extra column? Higher date. So higher date, as you can see, it's not here. And the re as again, the reason for this is basically because higher date was not part of the specification of the first sample file. So something important to keep in mind, sometimes when you are loading and merging multiple files together, if all of them have exactly the same columns, then that's fantastic, nice and easy. If they have um, slightly different columns from each other, they're not all going to merge together. Now, what I can do is I can come back to uh, get data. And this time, instead of using the first file as the sample, I'll use my last file as the sample. And what this will do is it will enable us to add that extra higher date column. And you'll see what this looks like in just a sec. So this time, instead of selecting the first file, I am going to select this employee's 2017 file. Click OK. And OK, so this time, if we scroll across to our last column, we, you notice that we do have a higher date column. If I click this option here, we have all of our dates. These will only be applicable to the uh, 2017 uh, employee records and everything else will be blank. So the thing to keep in mind is is that if one of your tables has more columns than the rest of them, then you want to load that up as your sample uh, template for the rest of the data to load into. Now if you don't have a sample template which 
contains all of the columns that you want to load. Let's say each of your files has a unique column that isn't contained in the other files, then that's going to be a lot more difficult to merge together. Uh, if you're using something else to merge your files, say something like R, it will just automatically add all of the columns from all the different files for you, which then makes it a lot kind of easier to work with. But anyway, there you go, something to keep in mind there. Hope you found this useful, and see you in the next lecture.